Well, greetings, everyone. It's Mike Grega here, and I'm joined today by the fabulous Aaron Persinger, who is an operations and hiring expert. Hi, Aaron. Welcome. Hey, Mike. Thank you so much for having me. It is such a pleasure to have you with me today. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And uh, in my opinion, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I agree. 100%. We have been trying to make it happen for a while. Right. So, uh, so Aaron, tell me, tell me, what is your business? What do you do? What are you all about? Um, you know, let us know. We're interested. Yay. So I started um, life as an accountant, right? Not from birth, but later on, of course. Um, <laughs> Not from and birth. I had kids and quickly decided that wasn't a great career. Yeah. So I started blogging one day for fun, just just out of boredom. And that led to, a, that was five, over five years ago, I guess now. And that led to a crazy career path that I landed as an OBM. Um, and now oh. I do systems and hiring for teams who are ready to grow and find freedom in their life again. Wow. That's amazing. So you've got accounting, you've got the financial thing of side of things. You've got the OBM, right? As as most people know, that's an online business manager, right? Which the emphasis there is on business operations. Yes. And now you're adding in this whole hiring piece. Yeah. So you form this like great package of all these pieces of expertise, right? I think that's fairly unique, isn't it? Well, um, well I, like, I like to think so. Um, <laughs> it, it does give me like a little bit, the accounting background um, gives me a little bit of a um, unique perspective to look at things, even in hiring. And someone told me the other day, said, I've never seen someone who systematizes and hiring and drills it down like you do. And I said, yeah, um, my team does, they do a phenomenal job with um just finding the perfect fit. I always say it's like match.com for business owners, right? So oh, nice. <laughs> match.com for business owners. So, so one of the things that you're focusing on right now is helping people figure out, and this is a burning question that a lot of people I've noticed have. You're trying to, you're, you're focused right now on helping people figure out, am I ready to start hiring team members? Is my business in a place where I'm ready to do that? So Erin, tell us, how do we answer that question? So that's a great question because that's one that I get asked most often. And people hold on to their business way longer than they should as a solopreneur. Um, I'm really? Oh, yeah. I've, I've met people fifty, dollars $100,000 a month who are still holding on to that solo, piecing together pieces of a team on occasion, but not really having a team. I don't believe you need a big team most of the time in your online industry, depending on what you provide, um, at least for a, a long while. But um, that's definitely a thing that more people need to be aware of. So what I say when you know you need a team is if you do a time study of your own time and you find out you are losing a lot of money through admin tasks and things that you could be outsourcing that are not your zone of genius, right? Right. Um, so if you do that time oh. study and you figure out your time's worth $1,000 an hour, say you do a VIP strategy session that's $500 or $1,000 an hour, right? And you're doing emails that take three hours. That is obviously a waste of your time when you could be doing more strategy sessions. Oh, interesting. So, so tell, me, tell me, how do I go about doing a, a time study like you're talking about? Because that sounds like an enormous and kind of tedious task. I don't know if I can do it's that. Not, so it's not, it's probably everybody's least favorite part of what I do, yeah. but it's really simple, right? So we use, oh. Toggle, um, is what I usually recommend out. And it's a little timer you install on your, um, browser toggle T O G G L. I think it's just L. Oh, T O G G L. Toggle. Interesting. Yes. We can link it below. Um, so I okay. just have people track their time extensively for a minimum of a week. Um, okay. And it's easy. You stop and start the timer. You just quickly put in what you're looking at. And it's eye-opening too, right? So it's like, oh, oh my gosh, like I'm bleeding time here. 
And, but nobody wastes time on social media, though. I'm sure that's the least right. common. <laughs> No. So Actually, what I find good. most of my business owners waste time on it are admin tasks. Like admin tasks. Oh my gosh! In yeah. Admin. Yeah, it's just constant. I like waste so much time doing admin tasks. Yes, churning, and so it's it's that, and then you consider your financial um, state, right? I use the profit first method, which is like under $250,000 a year. Then you look at um, 30% of your um, profit or your, sorry, income should be spent on expenses. So that's kind of the method I always use is the- Oh, interesting. Because a lot of people say, you know, once you're hitting about 10,000 a month, that's when you're ready to hire a, a, maybe an admin VA or your first team member or something. But you're saying, well, hold off on that a minute. Well, I mean, it just depends really on how much, how what you're looking to invest, right? I generally only work with um, business owners who have hit six figures um, for myself, just because that shows they have a steady business and they're ready right. to go. So I think that's where that 10K month, month number comes from, because okay. it shows okay. the longevity of your business. Um, okay. Of course, oh. I I know a lot of people, though, that still haven't hit 10K months um, and an admin VA is saving their lives right now. At some point, you have mm. to um, it's more about consistency in your business, I think, than it is like that revenue number. Um, can you consistently pay this person because you want a long term team member? You don't want somebody who's going to be with you for a few months. Then you've already trained someone else. And then it's a constant churn mm. cycle when you do that. Um which is what we never want in our business because it's not sustainable for growth. So is there a, a one size fits all easy, simple, clear way for us to determine whether or not we're ready to hire a team member? No, I, I, I don't. Oh. Think so. <laughs> so I think it's pretty, um, I, I think it's a little individual. It's based yeah. on what your business is, what services you provide. We need to um, consult with somebody where you spend your time, how long it takes you on those things. Yeah, definitely. You need to hit me up, right? <laughs> oh, they need to talk to you. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah. It. So, to that free call. Right on. So they can consult with you and say, hey, Aaron, I need to figure out if I'm ready to hire an admin VA. And I'm sure you charge just an arm and a leg for that service to have that conversation, right? That conversation is actually free. So <laughs> yeah. Free? That's, That's part amazing. of the free That's what I'm assist. talking about. <laughs> free consultation to help you determine whether or not you're ready to hire team members. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes. But now, I suppose one of the other things that you're going to talk about then is how do I go – if I'm ready to hire somebody, that's, that's the big question. Now, if I'm ready to hire somebody, okay – Cool, but now I'm kind of overwhelmed and terrified at the prospect because right. I have to trust this person. I have to like share passwords and accounts and <sighs> yes, and there's a whole I mean it's very stressful, right? And it's even hard yeah. to give up what's your baby. Um, can they do what I can do? Delegating but is hard. It is hard. It's Seriously. the biggest leap, I think, for one of the biggest leaps for a business owner to make for sure. Um, it's a mindset shift and also like you need some assurity that you found the right person for your business. So there's really three things I feel like you need to have in place before you hire. Um, one is the structure set up to support your hire so that you don't end up with that churn that I talked about where a person comes on and they're like, oh my gosh, this is just overwhelming and we don't work well together. Yeah. I see a lot of people say they don't work well with their new team member and it's really, they hadn't set up the structure and the foundation for the team member to be successful. Um, and you help with that. Yes, we do. We oh, set up the structure to start with. <laughs> the, second, the second step is really you find the right person for the job. So there's no unicorns out there in the market, right? So you don't have, there's not a, I mean, people will say they they are, but like, we don't want to try to find a VA who's good at admin, graphic design, tech, video editing. 
<laughs> like all the things cannot be one person's zone of genius. Interesting. Is that what a lot of people try to do? They try to find that one unicorn who can do all those very specific things that they need all, all at the same time. Right. They're, they're trying to push everything into one box and that's not always the best case scenario. And some of those jobs don't need to be long-term. Like, do you need a long-term tech person in your business? A business like mine, because we set up systems. Yes. A business mm -hmm. like yours. Like maybe. Mine? No, no. Oh, I, you wouldn't need a long-term tech person. Um, Interesting. So that's something to consider to hire the right position. And then the third part is really you got to hire the right person for the position, right? So we have yeah. um, someone that fits with your culture, um, someone that works on your hours. Are you going to hire overseas? Are you going to hire American? There's just a lot of... Um, a lot I don't want to have meetings at two in the morning. <laughs> right. So you got to figure that out, right? <laughs> you got to figure out what you're going to do there. Um so there's a, there's a lot that goes into it. And our hiring process is, like I said, pretty systematized to distill down those things and really figure out, um, are these two people the best fit? That's why I call it the match.com for business owners. Oh, and very, uh, nice. so, so let me, let me take a step back a minute. Cause earlier you mentioned that there's a mindset shift and I know because I am, you know, a, a small business owner, right? I know that like, for me, it's often feels like it's easier to just do it myself than to try to get somebody else to do what I want them to do and and to uh, and get it just right, you know. So, tell me about how that mindset mindset shift works, because I feel like that's a shift I need to make eventually, and I'm kind of dreading. Yeah. So one of the biggest things is to have that structure set up in your business so you can communicate what you want well from the beginning, right? Okay. Um, and the second thing is <laughs> like to come to the place where you realize that it's not, uh, <laughs> it's okay. Like you don't have to have control of everything. People can do what you want them to do as long as you build out the um, structure to support them, then they'll be fine doing it. I and see. It's a learning curve for both of you in the beginning. I think people get frustrated too with the learning process, but we try to set that up so there's minimal um, time really till your ROI comes in on your new team member because we've done an efficient job of like really, I, I said the other day, like hiring is almost like lead gen, like how we qualify leads. Like you qualify mm -hmm. hires the same way. Um, you really right. go through a step-by-step -step process to find that perfect person. And then the business owner is more confident with handing off those tasks because the person knows what they're doing, has been well-trained, the structure for communication set up. So the business owner is always up to date and they're not going to be micromanagers because no one likes a micromanager. No, nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can help me put the structures in place. You, and I, I imagine since you've got the OBM background, you can help me kind of document all those processes mm -hmm. and procedures so that there is something to turn over to the hire so that they can, so that they know what to do. And I don't have to constantly repeat myself. It can all be documented. They just follow yeah. the process. Yeah. And, and I think people get um, incredibly overwhelmed when we think about documenting those processes as well. But like, look, on my team, when we document a process, it works like this. I record a video of something I'm doing that's maybe five minutes. Um, I drop it in a Slack channel to my assistant and she does the rest because I've trained her to do the rest from the beginning. So we have a continual um, loop of processes that are being documented in my business at all times. So the next VA I bring on, number one, my VA has learned the task, right? Because she's documenting the task and digging in as we go. So she's learned it. Number two, it's documented already for the next VA. Number three, I feel better, right? Because a lot of times it's my own words even that she's pulling out. Like we're using huh. exactly what I say for a template. So you just record yourself mm -hmm. doing the thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then from there, your team member just like magic documents it for you. Exactly. She's been trained to set up wow. um, SOPs 
to my standards, which are. Is, is she available for other people too? Oh, her? heck no. No one's getting her. <laughs> You're not I, kidding, just, huh? and I tell her all the time, I'm like, you have to stay with me for life because she's my right arm. I could not function without wow. her. She's amazing. Her wow. name's so Shirley. We need a duplicator is what we're saying here. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm telling you, she's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So, but. But we can we can get your help with documenting those processes, right? And um, and so so it kind of is like getting her help too. Yeah, right? yeah, it kind of is. She knows she definitely knows what she's doing on that. And she um, now we're offering like she's doing like an initial training um, with our VAs that we bring on if oh. they need it. it. Depends on where they're at in basic systems. So um, that's a nice thing too. So, so you're training up these people to do these things, the VA, which, by the way, if anybody's watching, you don't know what VA is. It's virtual assistant. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But you're training these folks to do these things. And so does that mean we can come to you? If we want to, if we're like, you know what, I need to hire a VA. I, I need somebody uh, that can do this stuff for me. Aaron, can you help me out? A hundred percent. So I, um, what, what my team does whenever someone comes to us for the um, VIP growth experience, which is like a 30, the 30 day process and with 30 oh, follow up wow. days. Um, what we do is we do that time study first and then we go through the time study and we craft like the perfect job description. We figure out who you need. We craft the perfect job description and we qualify the hires, right? There's several steps my team does to qualify a hire before a business owner even meets the hire. So I may have 30 oh. applicants for your job and I will bring you two to three. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. So, and then. That's so much less overwhelming. <laughs> yes. yes. So um, we do initial interviews and then the job, um, the business owner does the final interviews. We'll do some test projects if it's like a position that, um, that makes sense in. Nice. And then while all that's happening, we're also setting up the back end systems, the project management tools, how we're going to communicate. Um, oh my gosh. All those things. <laughs> that's See, amazing. I a lot when I say it out loud. Um, and then we bring those people on and we support them through the transition to come onto your team and make sure they're a good fit and do all the things. So, wow. Yeah. That's kind of how we're working it right now. That is an impressive offer. So you bundle all of that. Yes. It's like, having, that. It's like having your own HR department for yeah. a month. Yeah. So that's I'm like amazing. the standby, standby HR department really. <laughs> wow. So wow, that's incredible. So, what what would you say it how do you kind of how do you go about that how do you find these people to hire and to train and how so do you do that? like That's i said we qualify those leads on the hire just like you were a sales lead um and a uh -huh. lot of that starts with your job description super pointed at um at what you need and this this was even a learning process for me. I've hired and managed teams for a long time now, but uh -huh. um, getting that job description dialed in is a huge part of you pulling in the right, right. people. Um, so uh -huh. we start there and then there's a series of questions we'll ask um, moving forward, like it's some silly questions, even like just to see attention to detail, um, response time. We measure, measure all the response time. Are they a good fit? Like, for the team, all the things. So, um, yeah. And then, like I said, we do initial interviews, then we do secondary interviews. So it's a, it's a lengthy process really. Um, but it all takes place usually pretty quick once we start. Interesting. So, uh, I would think that for me anyway, it would be a really difficult challenge to try to figure out what the job description should be but also like kind of personality quirks and things like that, because I'm not going to get along with everybody that's qualified. Right. Like I can be a little bit challenging to get along with sometimes. Right. Admit it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you figure yeah, out all that? Um, huh? So I said, that can never be true. <laughs> so One thing we do from the beginning is like, look at the owner's values behind their business and um, some business owners are like, I've never even thought about like the values behind my business. 
I was having this conversation with a client this morning and I was like, well, you have them and I can always tell you what they are. They're one, two, three, because I've, I've worked with this person in the online space for a while. So I yeah. know what she stands for. Um, oh. And so we, once we get those figured out, I think that goes a long way. Um, you know, you define those in the job description. These are my values. If you don't stand for the same values, then we're not going to be a fit immediately. Um so that's kind of the first part I even put on there. And then I actually provide like some, I said this, I feel like everybody trains the VAs, but nobody trains the business owners to work with the VAs. Right. <laughs> so right? we actually have, have started. You, you know um, what? You could build a course on that. Yeah. And, uh, and I oh, just happen to know somebody. I know somebody who builds courses. I know somebody who builds courses. And I, uh, and I hear he does a pretty decent job. He, I've heard he does a Good phenomenal plan. job. <laughs> I'll rec I'll give you a name after we're done. Okay. Here. Yeah, you you message that to me because I need to keep that in the Rolodex, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so we we do that and we provide some um support along the way, like how to help the business owner really work. And it comes with a lot of um a call, a come to Jesus conversation with me, I guess, where I'm like, okay, this is what it's like. Because if I think you're going to be a crummy um, person to work for, I won't hire for you because that's one of my core values in my business, right? Is to match right people on. with integrity. So you're um, looking out for the people on both sides, yes. right? You're looking out for the business owner. You're also looking out for the team members. A hundred percent. It's important to me to make sure that it's a, the best fit I could possibly provide. Like there's things I can't foresee happening. But um, for the most part, I can weed out the problems in the beginning. And that includes if someone's going to be a crummy micromanager, then I'm not going to hire for you. <laughs> right. Uh, that's, that's fantastic. So if somebody needs to hire team members, they can come to you. And, uh, and your website is down in the ticker at the bottom of the screen there, AaronPersinger.com. Mm-hmm. But now let's say somebody's watching who they want to learn to be one of these team members. They want to learn to be a VA. They want to, uh, they want to take some of that training from you and then they want to get hired and placed in a job. Can they also come to you? So that's not there yet. We are. Oh, okay. But. We're about to work on a, a um, hopefully in the 2022 plan a certification program with Mike Grega. Oh, really? <laughs> very interesting. So interesting. So, but at some, but that's part of, that's part of where you're going next is you're going to be, um, if people, if people want to learn to do those things, they can come to you and then get placed and hired. And that's awesome. Yeah. But you do, do some training for VAs now, right? Yeah, we do. Um, what we do is the VAs that we actually hire right now, um, we've just started putting through like a week long um, program with us. It's just a okay. week and it's just the back end, really teaching them to use the back end systems that I've set up correctly, which are basic. Um, how do you use ClickUp? How do you use Slack? What's the best way to communicate with your business owner? Um, those are what we're focusing on now before I launch mm -hmm. it full scale for everyone. So right now it's just looks wow. like the people um, that we hire just to make that transition for my business owners a little easier. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes that involves training with the business owner and the virtual assistant or team member. Um, oh, so, wow. yeah, I, I think that's probably I think that's a cool feature that we just decided to um, add to our program. Just makes but, things a little easier. Uh, I, yeah, absolutely. But for now, that's not open to everybody. That's only open to people yes. that have gotten hired by one of your clients. Yes, for now. Through your that's, process. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to understand. Yeah, that's, that's cool. But in the future, yes. you're going to open that up. And we're, building, we're building out the certification, right? In the future. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Good for you. Well, Aaron, this has been awesome. This has been absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad that I finally got you on a live. This is great. I'm so glad we finally made it happen. Right? Is there anything else you want to add before we uh, say goodbye for the day? I, I think I have covered everything. Um, yeah. I would love 
love to help your people out. If they need hiring, they can book a call. Certainly book a call. We'll do a free business assessment. See where we're at. And awesome. So if you're, if you're out there watching and you're thinking, you know, boy, I don't know if I'm ready to hire a team member or not. Guess what? You don't have to know the answer to that question. <laughs> you can contact Aaron at AaronPersinger.com or just, I assume that you're cool if they just DM you, right? Yes. Perfect. I'm so, from everywhere. So Fantastic. So they can just reach out to you. And, uh, and you'll help them figure out the answer to that question and tell them whether or not they're ready. And by the way, because I know you, I know you're not going to tell somebody they're ready if, in fact, they're not. You're going to oh, give no. them an honest answer, right? That's 100% true. You know, I'm yeah. pretty um, straightforward forward sometimes to the extent that... <laughs> <laughs> Almost to a fault is what you were going to say. <laughs> no, that's too much. <laughs> right. Right on. Well, so they know they can come to you and they can help get an answer to that question, which I know is a question on just a lot of people's minds. So pretty much just about everybody who's watching, and I think I might be booking a call after this, but uh, I know... <laughs> But I know just about everybody who's watching um, probably is is either hired a team member already or is questioning whether or not they're ready to. Um, probably more of you than you think are are more ready than you think. So, yeah, so reach out to Aaron and find out. See what's going on. 100% true. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank Thanks you, Aaron. I really appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye, uh, everybody. Have a great day.